Malnutrition is a serious issue that is common in the world, especially in developing countries. Let's find out what is malnutrition. Malnutrition can be caused by eating too little or too much, or an unbalanced diet that does not contain all nutrients necessary for good nutritional status. Types of malnutrition. Number one is overnutrition. There is an excess intake of one or more nutrients. People with overnutrition have a greater risk of chronic diseases like diabetes or cardiovascular disease. Number two is undernutrition. This occurs due to an inadequate intake of one or more nutrients. Following are the conditions that can occur due to undernutrition. PEM, protein energy malnutrition, anemia, goiter and rickets, etc. Now let's find out what are the causes of malnutrition. Inadequate dietary intake and infections are immediate causes of malnutrition. Dysphagia, in which you can't swallow food easily. Malnutrition can occur. In cancer, disease chemotherapy makes eating difficult due to nausea. Vulnerable groups for undernutrition. Preschool children. Teenage boys and girls. Pregnant and lactating women. In PEM, the person's body doesn't have enough nutrients to perform routine functions. So the body starts to get energy from muscles, skin, and fats. In this way, the children become prone to infections. They begin to feel weak and lazy and cannot perform routine work. Now we will talk about the two types of protein energy malnutrition but before that. EDM is calling out selected dietitians with unique stories and special offerings to get featured in our magazine. We will give you desired exposure on all social media platforms. So what are you waiting for? So back to the topic. There are two types, Quashiorker and Merasmus. Quashiorker is caused by a deficient intake of protein. Mild symptoms include the child's moon face, a child becomes irritable, anorexia, fatty liver, enlarged liver, and swelling, edema. Merasmus. In Merasmus, children will have low weight for height. Its causes are severe deficiency of all nutrients, especially proteins, carbohydrates, and lipids. The child appears like skin and bones. They have sunken cheeks and wide eyes, and hair becomes sparse and easily pluckable. We should work together to eradicate malnutrition from this world. This video is for general information only and does not constitute providing medical advice. For further details please visit our website exercisedaily.com. Subscribe to our channel.